Dressed in their graduation gowns, the group of unemployed teachers decided to voice their dissatisfaction with how the Ministry of Education is dealing with their plight. High teachers' unemployment caused by poor leadership that hampers the provision of quality education. We have over 2,000 children under the age of 16 without spaces in schools. 90% of them are from poor, vulnerable, and marginalized background. Yet, we have 80% of understaffed schools in the Tukawango regions with teachers teaching 70 to 90 learners in one class. Seven to eight lessons in a single working day while 3,410 unemployed teachers in the Tukawango regions are in the state. Some of these teachers have been unemployed for close to five years and say the situation is now taking a toll on their lives. Currently, I'm selling food at a bar. All this is just doing that because we want to make a living. Because the, the government is saying that we are not doing anything for ourselves. We are trying. To go out there and look for a job is not easy. People are not hiring people anymore. And if you happen to get a job, some people, they cannot even leave you to go and, and attend your interview. If you ask for permission to go and attend the interview, that will be the end. You won't come back again. It is really training us. For five years, you are at home, you are a graduate, and you are expected to go for interviews. And the interviews are not held at a place where we live, or I would say in towns. We are spending more on interviews, but then we get nothing out of it. Acting Executive Director in the Ministry of Education, Nox Otto Imbua, says the challenge of unemployment is a nationwide predicament, not specific to teachers. He also says some of the claims made by the unemployed teachers are just not true. It's alleged in the press statement that there are over 2,000 children under the age of 16 without places in schools, and that 70 to 80 percent of schools across the country are understaffed. The ministry would like to refute these claims as false, incorrect, untrue, and further state that the ministry is unaware of learners who could not be placed in a government school for the current academic year due to lack of space. If there are such children, we strongly advise the parents or guardians of those children to immediately approach our regional offices countrywide to seek for assistance. The ministry is, however, aware of five unregistered community schools in the Kavango East with a total of 654 learners. The ministry have attended to this matter by advising and referring the parents and their learners to nearby government school for their registration and absorption. For this very same reason, we have allocated funding for emergency construction of 14 classrooms in Dama South. The ministry admits that Kavango East has 45 schools with 40 to 80 learners in a class. The ministry believes that the majority of teaching students are graduating in fields of specialization which are already saturated, creating an oversupply of teachers in certain fields of study. We sympathize with those that are yet to secure employment in the teaching service, particularly our graduate uh, uh, teachers. However, the ministry regrettably cannot be obliged to recruit the unemployed teacher graduates beyond the capacity of our financial means and physical uh, facilities.